Welcome back to The Vocalist. Today we are listening to Chris Cornell again. This time we're going to watch his cover of Prince's Nothing Compares to You. Here we go. <laughs> It's been seven hours and fifteen days Since you took your love away I go out all night and sleep all day Since you took your love away I'm sorry, I... Y'all were right in the comments of that last video that I didn't even touch the surface of his vocals. And I am, oh golly. Okay, I just wanna go back because the the tone right off the bat, the, the presence, the, it's just ringing. I, I don't know what it is. Um, I promise we'll get a little further, sorry, here we go. He's, his face is so relaxed and where this is in his range, I'm kind of surprised we're not getting a little bit more action in the those muscles just because one would think they'd be challenging and would show on the face and he's not at all, not at all. Um, let me go back just a little bit because he just did something that again... Since you've been gone, I can do whatever I want. There's that tiny little breathiness that's coming through, and it's creating this beautiful texture throughout the whole song. Um, and all that is is just a tiny bit of relaxation. We're not getting a firm, like, full closure on the chords. I can see who will hurt you. I want to play that phrase again. The way he transitioned from that full present sound to this gorgeous, warm, rumbly tone. Do whatever I want. I can see who will hurt you. I cannot 
get over this sound. And I think maybe it's the fact that I heard something that felt so different to me initially. Um, as I'm listening, I wonder if Chris Stapleton has ever um, mentioned Chris Cornell as like an inspiration for him because he's got this bluesy tone that I feel can fit so many genres but this bite, this, I want to say abrasiveness in a good way to his sound that just has this edge and it just, it's pressing the song forward so beautifully and yet so comfortably. It just look, he looks so nonchalant while he's doing this. Um, but there was a moment, you know what, I'm just going to play it again because why not? It's been so lonely without you. flipped into his head voice and we got that gorgeous little yodel lonely without you here, like a bird without a song. love can stop these lonely tears from falling tell me agility And then to hear that gorgeous speaking voice. Oh my gosh. You can watch, like, he's got everything so still, so just like almost statuesque. And you can see there is obvious work happening in his neck and his larynx, but it, the way he's utilizing his air pressure, I feel like that's doing all of the work for him. Um, let me go back because I really sidebar loving this arrangement with um with the strings and then uh or string cello um and then the way this other acoustic guitar is fitting in so i'm excited for this solo to you keaton simons Tea. 
wanted to end. Let me go back to that last section. You know, he did something so beautifully where, well, I'm talking about being amazed at how neutral his face is, but that's one thing I, I talk to singers about all the time. If you have tension in your jaw or your tongue or your face, wherever it is, it's not a bad thing, but the more of it you can eliminate on the regular, the, the better it is for you to incorporate when you need it. And so there was one moment, and he didn't add tension by any means, but there was a moment where we see some spread because he's singing a much higher note. And so he saved it for a moment when he really needed it, as opposed to using it throughout the whole of the song. And by doing that, by not relying on all of these external factors, you're allowing a lot to happen in the larynx with your breath pressure. Um, and muscle, obviously. Let me go back. All the flowers that you planted, mama. That line is so stunning to he, he didn't even have to like reach for that note he just landed exactly where he needed it to be um and then the just kind of the it wasn't a fade out by any means but the way he sort of tapered the line with his dynamic contrast i mean we've had so much dynamic contrast throughout this whole piece but that in particular it just like sort of lingered in the air after after he sang it flowers that you planted mama in your backyard all died when you went away and I know living with me baby is sometimes hard he went from this gorgeous open I know and then hard I feel like he lifted the root of his tongue to create kind of like this this muting effect. So it had like a tiny different mm, quality in the tone. And I know living with me, baby, is sometimes hard. But I'm willing to give it another try. be honest after that first reaction I wanted to hear more but I wasn't I don't know I wasn't like itching to hear more but of course I read your comments and you said you haven't even come close so uh, hearing him in this cover and I'm sure many other pieces as well it's I I had no idea I had no idea um, What's very cool is that despite this being years later, you can hear um, a little bit more texture in his sound in this particular piece, but he also had those moments of crystal clarity. And it's just um, to hear that he maintained that throughout his career is very cool because like I've mentioned before, you know, just being a musician um, without any any other considerations just using your voice on the regular it it wears it down but to hear how beautifully he maintained that tone throughout his career that's pretty cool so that is it for today thank you guys so much for watching with me and for this recommendation and hopefully i will see you next time